Good evening. The Internet Mana Party election launch has ended in farce, with Kim.com running from the building as journalists were sworn at. It all started after Dotcom referred to hacking in his speech. And when journalists wanted to ask him more, well, it turned ugly. Here's Brooke Sabin. You puffed up little shit. This is Internet Mana Press Secretary Pam Corkery. Not happy, we want to talk to Kim.com. He doesn't want to. He said three times, I don't want to give you an interview. He's not a candidate. He doesn't owe you anything. When will you glove puppets of Cameron Slater just piss off? Dotcom denies he's the hacker behind dirty politics, but at the party's campaign launch today, said this. And I hacked our German credit rating system and put our Prime Minister's credit rating to zero because I didn't like the guy. And you have all figured by now there's another Prime Minister I don't like. <laughs> but he didn't want to talk about his comments after his speech. The abuse started when we were filming this, explaining Dotcom was in hiding. But Dotcom is refusing to explain his hacking comments. Instead, he's holed up. No, it's 19 years old. It was in the book. No, we've talked about just don't. We've talked about homeless, starve. Oh, sh don't be a creep. We've talked. Okay, we've talked about jobs today and and people living in poverty. You want to interview Kim, who did said no interviews about a 19-year-old story. You work in news. You puffed up little shit. You know you're all in the dumper by connection. And while that was going on, Dotcom ran to a waiting car to make a quick getaway. Earlier at the start of the launch, we briefly caught up with Dotcom to ask if he knew anything about the Twitter account Whale Dump, which claims to be the hacker behind the Dirty Politics book. Kim, are you Whale Dump? Excuse me. Are you Whale Dump? Kim? So the internet mana launch completely derailed by talk of hacking, dot-com running off and media abuse. Internet mana says it wants to disrupt this campaign. They've now taken that to a whole new level. Brooke Sabin, 3 News.